Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to explain you how you can enable the Eclipse MicroProfile OpenAPI in Quarkus. Let's start. In my previous video RESTful Web Service with Quarkus, I create a simple REST endpoint movie resource with two get method to fetch all movies and fetch the size of the list of my movies a post method create movie put method to update the movie and the last but not least the delete method to delete a movie inside the list now i want to document my api in this project i use JAXRS to consume my rest as apis quarkus expose its api description through an open api specification eclipse micro profile open api provide a Java API for the OpenAPI specification. To enable the OpenAPI, we need to go inside the pomxml file and under the dependency Quarkus RestEasy, let's add a new one. So type dependency, dependency, inside the group ID, put io.quarkus, and inside the artifact ID, put Quarkus small right open API because Quarkus used the small right implementation for the open API specification. So now let's open the terminal and run the project in development mode. So mwen compile Quarkus dev. Good, our project is up and running and listed on a port 8080. And here inside the console, we can see all dependencies with, of course, SmallRai OpenAPI. So now let's go inside the browser. Let's go inside HTTP localhost 8080 slash OpenAPI. Good, let's save inside folder. I will put it here. Good. I open this file with IntelliJ. And here you can see the specification of my API. The version 303, the open API, and all the API that I suppose. L slash movies, get method that responds 200. Then under the slash movies, we have also the post and the post method require a slash movies less size, the return a response with status code 200. And then of course, under the slash movies slash and ID, the delete method to delete a movie. And of course here put slash movies slash ID slash title in order to update the title of, of a movie. Very good, because we didn't change the movie resource. Just adding the dependencies API, we have a specification, our API that we, we can share. I know you, what you are thinking now. How I can customize this contract? Well, you can, you can, because the Eclipse MicroProfile OpenAPI has a set of notations that you can use. Let's use them together. Inside the movie resource class, add the, the tag annotation. Inside this tag, I'm going to put a name, movie resource, and then a description. Movie REST APIs. Then let's import this tag, import class, exactly from Eclipse MicroProfile Open API. Then move on inside the get movies method, and I'm going to put the operation annotation. In the operation annotation, 
the summary I will put the summary like get movies the description get all movies inside the list and I'm going to put also the operation ID operation ID and here I will put the get name and I'm going to change the summary with just get movies good let's import the annotation operation and then let's add a new one so the api response in the api response i'm going to delete the schema i'm going to import api response annotation so the response code will be 200 of course description we can put like operation completed and then the content will i need to put a new annotation the annotation content I'm going to import this annotation and media type instead of text plan I'm going to put the same media type so media type equals media type dot application JSON now let's do the same for the count movies so just copy operation and API response annotations paste it after the path annotation and just change the operation ID from get movies to count count movies and the summary count movies and then the description can be something like size of the list movies the API response 200 description operation completed the content is not application JSON but it's text plan so dot text plan exactly let's move on and go inside the create method inside the create method I'm going to put again the operation and API response annotation inside the operation create operation ID create movie so create a new movie and the description create a new movie to add inside the list the API response is not 200 but uh, I'm going to put 201 created and I'm going also I'm going also to change the response from response ok to response dot status created good dot entity and then movies dot build so response code 201 description going to put movie created and then the media type application json good inside this method because we have a parameter of type movie we can put also we, we can document also the parameter inside this function so let's add the annotation request body inside the request body I'm going to put the description so movie to create then of course require true and then the content content and then I'm going to remove media type equal text plan I'm going to put what schema equals annotation schema implementation movie.class I'm going to import the schema very good of course I need to go inside also the movie class I'm going to put the annotation schema 
with the name of course movie description movie representation presentation very good let's import the annotation schema and then I can put here also schema and then require true good representation schema good now go back inside the movie resource the create movie now it's well documented and now go inside the update movie so it will be the same so go back just copy operation and api response put it after the annotation consumes and then let's change operation id update movie update an existing movie update a movie and set a list oops good and then api response in this case it's okay so 200 not 201 movie updated application json and then because the update movie got two parameter we can document this parameter so before the path param id i'm going to put the annotation parameter let's import it the description movie id require true example i can remove it and schema i can remove it as well good now let's document also the title in the same way so parameter and then movie title require true very good now now go ahead inside the last method delete movie and we can do the same so let's copy operation api response put it after the annotation consumes very well let's change operation id delete movie delete an existing movie delete a movie inside the list if for the api response the response code so in one case is no content so meaning 204 movie deleted good but then we need to add another api response so let's add another api response annotation let's remove the schema and then it's bad request so 400 movie not valid and the content annotation content media type application media type dot application json very well now let's open the terminal run the application in development mode and vn compile quarkus dev good the server is up and running so go inside localhost 8080 localhost 8080 slash open api good let's open this file i open the file with intellij and now you can see the customization that we add so for example the tags movie resource the description movie rest api for each method we have the summary description operation id and of course uh, the response so in this case slash movies so get so the response is 200 operation completed and of course you can see also the 
media type of the content, application JSON. This is the same for the post method, so movie resource, summary description, operation ID, the movie to create, so request body, which are type of object we need to pass to this post, in this case a movie object, response code 201, also for the get slash movies slash size for count movies, and in the end for the delete method. What we have done until now is document just the movie resource. But there is another set of annotation that we can use to docu document our application. Let's see it together. So open the project, inside the package, create a new Java class, movie application. The movie application must extend the application class. Let's import it from JAXRX, good. Let's put the annotation open API, open API definition, good. Let's put the property info, equal, annotation info, very good. And then here let's put the title, like movie api a description let's put movie application and then the version 1.0.1 then we can put also the license why not? With a notation license. And then we can put the name, like MIT. And we can also put the URL. I'm going to put just HTTP slash slash localhost 8080. The property tags with the list of our tags, tag, annotation tag, with the name, movies, and a description, I will put just movies, very good. Now let's open again the terminal when compile Quarkus dev. This up and running and listening on port 8080. So let's open again the browser. Set localhost 8080 slash open API. Let's save it. And let's open again. Here, now the customization also of our application. So inside the info section, we have the title, movie API, the description, also the license and the version. And of course, the list of tags. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel if you want. And see you in the next video. Bye.